Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. This video is based on a, a email I got from Pavel Viaz. He said, thanks a lot for the answer. I want to have no static plot. I want to have parameters with three positions and opportunities switching between them. And he shows what, the, what parameter he has now. But I want to have the third position. For example, it will be name, all orders. And when I choose it, in my plot will appear two lines, A and B. Thanks. Great question. So this is what I think you've got, Pavel. Uh, this actually happens to have three measures on there. Sum of nights. This was by month. And sum of nights, number of guests per stay, and then the number of uh, guests, guest IDs per month. And this was for some Airbnb data. And what I understand you want is you want to be able to select, have a drop down that selects just one of those three or all of them. So what I've done, started off by, let me see, edit this parameter. We're calling it a KPI selector. We're setting it to the string data type and we're limiting it to a list. The first one we're gonna show is all. That was one of the things you wanted, all, and then the three different KPIs. You could show it so that you have KPI one and two, and then two and three, and one and three, but that didn't seem to be quite what you were asking, so I'm just going with this right now. I'm gonna to switch to this other tab here. And then I created three new measures. This is the first one, KPA, KPI one nights. And what it's saying is a if else uh, statement. If the KPI selector equals KPI number one nights, then just bring over that value. That's pretty straightforward. But the problem is if you have all, you need to account for the all. So we're gonna say else if KPI selector equals all, then also show that. If any other thing gets selected, we're gonna make it null. All right, so then that this item will not show up. We did the same thing for guest two, and I just realized I need to do that for guest, or the this is the guest count. I'm gonna copy this. KPI 2, I'm going to change it so that if it's all, it still pulls over the value. This is what I was talking about. I forgot to do it. So we'll just do this here. Double click that. Actually, we're going to just copy that. Paste it in there. Paste it in there. And we'll rename this three. Uh, I don't remember what we called it. Guest KPI guest ID. And if it doesn't work, I would double check the spelling. Invariably, something gets missed. In this example, maybe it's a lowercase c that I've used in this if else formula. Select OK. And now when you select KPI 1, just 1 shows up. 2, just 2, 3, and then all. A couple things to be aware of if you're going to go down this route. On these, all of these items that you have in the selector, make sure they have the same format. In this case, it's all counts. If you were to put in uh, pricing, you could do it, but your axis would would uh, be inconsistent. Are you going to be showing dollars on here? And so when you have customer count, cust guest count or nights, it's going to show as one hundred dollars. Or if you were to mix and max uh, percentages, showing a hundred dollars when it's really 100% or $50 when it's 50%. That can get confusing. 
And then of course, with anything, the, the big thing you're gonna try and avoid is you need to have all of these as measures so that you can have all the measures, you can have the measure values on the rows. If you do, one of the things I was thinking about doing was having two different measures up here. The problem is with your right axis, your secondary axis, if you're hiding or showing, depending on which one you're doing, you're going to end up with a you're going to end up with an axis here, or it's going to not have any axis. But this works pretty good. The only tricky part is getting the value, uh, the measure names, putting that under filter, or you can create these ahead of time and just double click and it'll go over to measure values. Hope that helps, Pavel. Uh, if you have other questions, make sure you send them my way. I love these ideas. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.